Mark Gerard's The Return to Camelot, Chivalry and the English Gentleman delves into the intricate relationship between chivalry and the formation of the English gentleman during the 19th century. The novel provides a comprehensive exploration of the revival of medieval ideals, particularly those associated with the legendary Camelot, and their impact on the evolving concept of the English gentleman. Gerard skillfully navigates through the historical context of the 19th century, shedding light on the socio-cultural factors that fueled the resurgence of interest in chivalry. The aftermath of the Industrial Revolution and the unsettling changes in societal structures prompted a nostalgic yearning for a perceived golden age, symbolized by the chivalric ideals of honor, bravery, and courtly love. Gerard argues that this yearning played a pivotal role in shaping the aspirations and behaviors of the English gentlemen of the time. The author employs a multidisciplinary approach, drawing from literature, art, and social history to paint a vivid picture of the cultural landscape that birthed the English gentleman's fascination with chivalry. Through detailed analyses of literary works, including the revival of Arthurian legends by poets like Tennyson, Gerard illustrates how literature became a powerful medium for the dissemination and romanticization of chivalric values. The allure of a bygone era, as depicted in these literary creations, inspired the English gentleman to adopt a code of conduct rooted in medieval ideals. Central to Gerard's analysis is the concept of the gentlemanly code, and its parallels with chivalry. The author contends that the English gentleman sought to emulate the chivalric virtues of loyalty, courtesy, and valor in his daily life. This emulation extended beyond mere personal conduct to influence broader societal norms and expectations. Gerard's meticulous examination of various aspects of 19th century society, from the arts to education, reveals a pervasive influence of chivalric ideals in shaping the collective identity of the English gentleman. The Return to Camelot also explores the architectural and aesthetic manifestations of the chivalric revival. Gerard investigates the Gothic revival movement, arguing that the architectural resurgence of medieval styles served as a tangible expression of the romanticized medieval past. The author contends that the construction and ornamentation of buildings in the Gothic style were symbolic acts, reflecting a desire to physically embody the ideals of chivalry and, by extension, the essence of the English gentleman. The novel is not without its critiques. Some readers may find Gerard's approach overly academic and dense, as he weaves together a myriad of sources and disciplines to support his arguments. However, for those willing to engage with the depth of analysis, the book provides a rich and nuanced understanding of the complex interplay between chivalry and the English gentleman. In conclusion, The Return to Camelot, Chivalry and the English Gentleman, by Mark Gerard offers a compelling exploration of the revival of chivalric ideals during the 19th century and their profound impact on the formation of the English gentleman. Through a meticulous examination of literature, art, and societal structures, Gerard paints a comprehensive picture of a society yearning for a romanticized past and the ways in which this yearning shaped the cultural and behavioral landscape of the time. The book stands as a valuable contribution to the understanding of the evolution of cultural identities and ideals in 19th-century England.